Hi there, Jag here, your Office 365 guy. So if you remember, in 2018, I've made some videos, uh, I think around 20 odd videos and published them here on LinkedIn. And I've got really good feedback uh, for the videos and, and people like, you know, my colleagues, family, friends, and, and, and some of my clients have actually asked me, like, what happened? Why did you stop making those videos? Uh, I've purely, I've procrastinated and, um, you know, the other things took priority. But in 2019, I've made a resolution. I wanted to make 365 videos. So I'm hoping to release a daily video. It's sort of like a daily vlog. But with that said, I just wanted to look back into 2018 and, you know, just see, you know, what I've learned, you know, what, what, uh, what's happened in Office 365 that you know, kept my interest going. So Office 365 is an amazing platform where you see a lot happening. So uh, in 2018, Office 365 has come leaps and bounds. Um, there's a lot of updates come to the platform, some of the modern, um, you know, the, the communication sites, the hub sites, uh, and not just that, you know, the updates that that came to the modern libraries and lists and, and, and also, you know, the updates around the data compliance and security aspects of Office 365 kept me, <laughs> kept me on my toes. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. So that's a quick review of what I've learned in 2018. Uh, and looking forward to 2019, um, I'm hoping to see uh, some consolidation happening in the Office 365 apps. So, you know, if you've been, uh, you know, using Office 365 for a long time now, you know, you would see um, that end users are quite confused or, you know, uh, qu quite confused around what's the best way to use certain apps. Because in Office 365, there's like, you know, you could achieve you know, your work in multiple different ways using multiple different apps. So there's a confusion in, in, the, in the industry around, you know, what's the best way to use uh, so uh, Office 365. So I would, I would like to see some consolidation happening within the apps itself. So we've already seen some of that have started to happen around Microsoft Teams and, and Sky for Business. So I'm hoping to see similar things, uh, a, a tighter integration and, 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 and more col consolidation among the apps in 2019. And the other thing I wanted to see is, is the search. So we already started seeing some, some of this happening uh, in, in already in the, in the later part of 2018. But in 2019, I wanted to see Microsoft Search take the center stage in, in the Office 365 platform. There you go. Uh, that's that's it for this video. But uh, please do stay uh, stay tuned for more videos in the coming days. Um, if you're following, if if you're watching this on LinkedIn, please uh, encourage you to connect with me or follow me. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please do subscribe to my uh, Modern Work YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. This is Jag, your Office 365 guy, and uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, uh, in in the, in the coming days. Thank you. Signing off.